What's up, everybody? We are back. John Delarose here. I am here without my lighting setup, and that's why my, I look a little fuzzy and things aren't that good at quality. But I'm so excited about the news that just broke with Nick Ricada. Uh, we made a stink, and I think it made a difference. Uh, of course, when the people speak, these companies get rattled, especially when we do it in big numbers. And that's something to remember for the future because we can make a difference in this culture war. We can make a difference when it comes to these big tech companies. We have more power than we realize we do. We just can't be silent. And that's what's going on. So today we just have great news. We have some bad news too, but it's a little lesser of a degree uh, regarding Ricada Law. And I'm going to get to this in just a second. If you're new to the channel, my name is John Della Rose. I'm a number one best-selling author, an award-winning comic creator, and this Overmind book was actually featured on Ricada Law a couple months ago. I was on with Megan Fox from PJ Media, and we had a lot of fun that night uh, on the show. So thank you for having me on, Nick, and, help, and helping me uh, sell the book here. This is a Star Wars replacement sort of setup. It's about a uh, secret agent who's going out and fighting an AI that's actually controlling and manipulating people. Uh, it's kind of an allegory for what's going on with social media and these big de tech companies uh, right now. I think you'll really enjoy it. Tons of action and adventure. That link's in the description below if you want to check that out. Support the channel and support artists who don't hate you. Thank you so much, guys. All right, the news is out. You see it right here. Ricada Law is back on YouTube. Here it is. I just got a notification while I was live streaming a few minutes ago. It just, boom, popped right back up. Everybody in my chat was going, Ricada's back. Did you see? And I'm like, yes, this is a huge, huge win. Look, uh, people went out there, and everybody's talking about it. Every big YouTuber, the quartering, uh, that Star Wars girl, Yellow Flash, Umbrella Guy, everybody's uh, raising red flags for what the YouTube platform's doing because what happened here was Ricada was just getting mass flagged, mass reported by people who were false flagging him over nonsense uh, because he was saying he was going to read a public document and put it on his locals page or his website. It wasn't even on YouTube. He just said he was going to do it, but they all flagged him anyway, and then the algorithm got him. Well, Nick said that he was going to go take care of this, was going to work with his YouTube manager and see if they could figure this out. But I think the pressure that was applied by everybody here, because we have such a huge community now, and we make YouTube a lot of money, believe me, uh, I think it really had an impact on this. Uh, they couldn't just let this go down. They knew it was going to be egg on their face. They knew that it was going to look like this is a politically driven and motivated situation because of the way that Nick is. Nick doesn't do anything wrong. He's a lawyer. He's a lawyer. He's not messing with things. But he is uh, right wing, and he's unabashedly so. And you know what happens when the censors get that way. Well, we've had this army of uh, just left-wing activists mass reporting him over and over and over again on every single platform. He got his Twitter taken away. He got, uh, which we can't do anything about till Elon finally closes the deal here. We got this YouTube taken away. And uh, we do have a little bit of bad news to go in. <laughs> this all happened within the last hour. It's amazing how fast this stuff happens. But uh, his Twitch actually got banned. Yeah, that, that's it. You know it all comes from Keffels, because Keffels goes and bans people on Twitch quite a bit. We got Destiny banned over there, and of course Destiny broke all of the story about exactly how awful Keffels has been uh, with these like allegations of grooming minors and the like. You can look that up for yourself. But those are the people that are going after Nick Ricada because they want to do their grooming in silence. They don't want people to be able to talk about it. They don't want people to be able to discuss it, and they don't want to be exposed, most importantly. And Nick Ricada was doing the Lord's work in that regard, and he really was putting it in front of a big audience to let people know exactly the evils that are going on in this world and what the truth is. So I'm very, very glad to have him back. I really hope he live streams tonight. I can't wait to super chat that dang grifter. <laughs> All right, I'm just playing, my friend. But uh, I'm very happy for this. This is really good news for a Friday. He's back online, and we are winning. Now, Nick is also on Locals and also on Rumble. You got to make sure that you follow him on all these platforms uh, just to make sure that, you know, if he gets banned or whatever again, that uh, you uh, have something uh, to uh, like fall back on and so you don't lose contact with him. But uh, he hasn't posted anything about this yet. Some people on the community have posted about it, but no news from Nick personally yet. I don't know if he's out. It's Friday night, so who knows? Uh, but make sure to follow him there. I'm on Rumble also, uh, and on Odyssey, and on Gab. Gab is my chosen uh, sort of uh, uh, social media network of choice uh, for different stuff. And Subscribestar. So if you want to subscribe to Subscribestar, that's a great place to support the channel too. And that's it. Happy Friday, everybody. We will win. We're on our way up. They can't silence us all forever. It's good news.
Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.